What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing this AFE cold air intake and optional scoop on this 2018 F-150 with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Alright, we're going to do a little before rev test. <laughs> Can't really hear the intake, but you can hear the tire squealing. No, no intake sound whatsoever. Here's the part numbers of the products we'll be installing today. There's the Magnaforce intake and the Quantum Scoop. All right, let's see what we got in these boxes. We got the air filter in this box. Now, we got two air filters. <laughs> Good packing. Got the AFE logo on the intake tube. Intake tube. Coupler. More tubing. Couplers. Most important part. Instructions. <laughs> Clamps. And airbox. Alright. And some paper. Alright. Let's see what the scoop looks like. Here's the scoop. <laughs> What's the scoop on this? Look at that. All right, let's start taking the old one out. All right, the first thing we're going to do is remove the stock intake. We're going to loosen this clamp here, this clamp here, and we're going to take this off as an assembly. All the clamps are seven millimeters on this truck. See that? Easy peasy. Oh, there's a sensor. Nope. Temperature sensor. Also, you want to make sure you disconnect the temperature sensor on the back side of the intake tube. The next step is probably the worst step of this whole install. You have to install a weather strip around the new AFE airbox. All right, we got the seal around the air box, and we're going to install this portion of the air box onto the factory portion of the air box. I need to pop these wires out to get the air box to clip in. Just tips right back into the factory position. On this intake, there are two air filters available. There's the Pro 5R pre-oiled filter, which is what we're using today, and also a dry flow filter. The dry one requires less maintenance, but does not flow as well as the pre-oiled 5R. Next, we're gonna install the air filters into the air box. Wow. 
they're just kind of sitting there for now until we're ready to install the intake tubes. Next, we're going to install the rubber crossover tube between the two intake pipes. We're not going to totally tighten it down during this step. Next, we're going to install the couplers onto the truck with the clamps in place. We're not going to tighten anything down until we get everything lined up properly. New clamps are 7 millimeter as well. They're 8. <laughs> the new clamps are 8 millimeter as well. Now we're ready to install the AFD intake tubes. It does take a little effort to get these all jammed into their proper couplers. Now that everything's in place, we're going to go ahead and tighten down the clamps. You always want to rotate the clamps where they're easy to access the nut. Now we're going to swap the intake temperature sensor. There's a little tab on it, you have to pop up and twist it out. We're going to install it right here in this fitting. There's a little o ring on it that holds it in place. And then we're going to reinstall the connector. Lastly, we're going to install the vent fitting insert into the intake tube near the turbo. Alright, so that's it. We're pretty much done with the intake install. It takes about 20 minutes. Like every AFP product, the fit and finish and build quality on this is top notch. Next, we're going to install the AFE Quantum Scoop. As you can see, it's much larger than the stock unit. To do this, we're going to remove this nut here, these two push pins. And it should come right out. All right, we're going to pop the two push pins out with a flat blade screwdriver. Next, we're going to remove this 8 millimeter bolt. We're going to reuse the bolt and the push pins. Then the tube should just unclip from the airbox. Next we're going to install the seal on the new quantum intake scoop. This will seal up against the hood when we close it. <laughs> Once the seal is installed, we're going to install the scoop back into the factory location. We're going to reuse the original push pins and the 8mm bolt.
Now with everything installed and tightened down, we're going to go ahead and fire it up. out the intake see if we can't hear any more intake or turbo sounds hit it definitely has a throatier sound to it especially off of idle and you can hear a little bit of the intake off idle uh, but that's about it so it doesn't make a ton of noise uh, Alex was actually hoping it would it would be a lot louder uh, it's definitely more efficient sucks in way more air it looks cool and it's designed and fit and finish are fantastic uh, but it does not make a ton of noise so if you guys are looking for a performance increase without the added noise then this would be perfect for you i have an amphi intake and exhaust on my m4 and they make a ton of products uh, for all makes and models so make sure you check out afepower.com if you're interested in their products Coming soon on the channel, we'll be installing this AFE Power Twisted Steel Catless Y-Pipe on the same F-150. We're going to be doing that in conjunction with these AMS turbo flange adapters, which makes the outlet of the turbo much larger for better flow and performance. Make sure you hit the notification button so you don't miss that one. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for checking out my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, check out my Facebook page, and if you're looking for some Pittsburgh Views merchandise, check out teespring.com. Have a great day.